I'm Chris Wilson of Mirror.co.uk and I'm here at the Oval for the launch of the Fire in Babylon DVD. No other sporting team in any discipline anywhere in the world dominated their sport for 15 years. Suddenly, we you combine all of that with the West Indies cricket success. Unbelievable. It is history that you'll never forget. One people, one nation, one destiny. <laughs> I've never worn a helmet before. I'm you serious. can't take the heat. Get out. Okay, firstly, Devin, can you tell me why you're sweating so hardly? Today? Well, I mean, I had to really put a little bit more effort ball into you, Chris. Yeah, it's all right. Um, you know, turning me on over. In the, in the early days, though, you know, it'll be a lot quicker, but uh, I reckon it's quick enough, don't you? Now, we're here to talk about Fire in Babylon. Yeah. Um, I've seen the film and it was an inspiration to me. Um, how, how, how much did watching these bowlers inspire you when you were growing up? Oh, yes. I mean, uh, if uh, you've got anything to do with cricket from the uh, um, 70s to the 80s, 90s, whatever, you had to be influenced somehow by. Uh, the awesome West Indies team and uh, myself as a youngster, yes, um, I grew up and uh, um, had a great honour of representing England but I must tell you this, my early influence was massively, uh, um, came from, you know, watching the great West Indies players fast ball as ball. As a youngster growing up, hearing about guys like Michael Holding, you know, um, Colin Croft, Roberts and all those guys, you normally um, run in, try to bowl as fast as you could. Sometimes you run in a lot faster than you could bowl, but you know, fast bowling was the thing because the battery of uh, fast ball is the West Indies uh, um, had in the 70s, 80s, as I said, dominate world cricket and also put the <laughs> scare up a lot of batsmen all over the world. So yes, it's been a massive influence and um, you know, um, watching Fire in Babylon is a must, um, you know, keep, is a must have really to have a look through and see the whole history of the cricket and how West Indies um, you can't beat that team. <laughs> uh, it was it was fun to face Devon. Um, he was sweaty at the end, and so was I. So he obviously put his shoulders and his back into it. Um, I did make a mistake quite early on of slapping one of his short balls through point, um, and uh, I mentioned that I liked the short ball. Um, what followed was three or four bounces, all of which I missed, except one which I chipped straight into the air. Would have been taken by the slips, possibly the wicket keeper. But all in all, it was good to face him. Um, he had me clean bowl once and probably a couple of thin edges to the slip cordon, but I did uh, manage to put him away a few times as well.